Hey guys, uh, I just finished my forging press. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little test now and uh, see how it works. All right, guys, uh, I just built this from an I-beam I had laying around. Uh, welded channel in both sides to uh, make it a little stronger. Um, piece of train track a guy gave me. He cut it in half for me. Um, this power pack I bought for 94 bucks at an auction. Five horsepower, 440 which in Canada here is not uh, standard. So I'll quickly explain. I have a uh, rotary phase converter. This turns 222 phase into 223 phase so that you have the third phase. Uh, then I go over to a fuse protector panel or a shut off, whatever you guys want to call it, to a transformer that goes from 220 three phase to 443 phase to power this motor which is a five horsepower 440. Uh, just a cylinder I had laying around it's got about a two inch uh, piston and uh, I wired this myself had my electrician buddy come and check everything while well, the rotary phase converter was already here because that powers my iron worker. All that's been added is uh, this panel and this transformer. And uh, he came over and everything checked out. This was a valve I had laying around. That's why I'm using that style. Uh, I know somebody's going to say there's a problem using black pipe on the one side, but I plan on upgrading everything as I go to, uh, I wanted to make sure everything worked first. So, and the dies, uh, I made them so that they will slide out easy enough when I, for making different ones. And this thing here, I know somebody's gonna say that this needs to be a little different or maybe more permanent, but I like how it just pops out of there to change the top die, but the chance of this falling out while I'm using it is pretty much nil. Anyway, any comments or questions, feel free to ask. I hope you like it. Uh, any suggestions for improvement, I am willing to listen. All right, thank you.